Biden has such a quick trigger temper that some aides tried to avoid meeting alone with him. Let's play the clip. Suddenly, there's a new series of brutal stories about President Biden, revealing that he may not actually be the person the media and supporters have made him out to be publicly. The latest is a new report revealing the president's fiery temper seen only behind closed doors. The Axios piece cites several Biden aides, both current and former, who have witnessed or been on the receiving end of the president's angry outburst. And the headline describes it as President Biden's private fury. Quote, the president's admonitions include, how the F don't you know this? Oh. Don't effing BS me and get the F out of here. Mm. I find this story so interesting, Harris, particularly because of Biden's day one promise, well, which remind viewers of right now. But I'm not joking when I say this. If you're ever working with me and I hear you treat another colleague with disrespect, talk down to someone, I promise you I will fire you on the spot. On the spot. No ifs, ands, or buts. Everybody, everybody is entitled to be treated with decency and dignity. Do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. Um, you know what? Medical News Today has some research on this. There's not an actual angry stage, but as you age, particularly up into your octogenarian years, which he is already injured, yep. there is um, a pronouncement of emotion, and usually it is negative. Mm -hmm. So anger mm -hmm. and that tend to go together. And we saw him cuss out. Peter Ducey. Oh, we, I mean, we have seen him abuse reporters. Remember the woman he was driving like a Corvette or something? Remember he was like test driving a car a couple of years ago and he kind of joked about running over the reporter? Yes. I mean, it's just, it is, it is pronounced emotion. It is out of boundary sort of humor that is almost like gallows type stuff. It's weird, but sometimes it can come with age. Sometimes, it doesn't happen for everybody, but it is part of what they look at in medicine. Yeah, it's interesting. And, and the reporter also went in Axios to note a time when he was a senator. I think this was in 2008 when a staffer got in the car with him and said, hey, you got to do some fundraising calls. And the president snapped back, get the F out of the car. So it <laughs> seems to be a trend. And interestingly, they also said some Biden aides think the president would be better off occasionally displaying the temper in public. I don't know that this is a campaign strategy, but correct me if I'm wrong, Ari. Unless they have their bleep machine on standby. Um, look, I, I think Joe Biden's always been weird. I mean, re <laughs> remember when Joe Biden but talked weird, to a constituent? weird, angry, and off-color are kind, kind of different. Add them all up. Um, but he had a constituent once who, who he challenged to a push-up contest. Yeah. And, and, it just <laughs> by, and he challenges people to go behind the school, behind the gym, and fight. He did that with President Trump. Well, he whispers to people, don't you, tell you your know, mother. The, the, just Biden's got this quirky way he always have of acting tough. But now the private stuff that he says, until Kaylee made the point about it, contradicts his opening day promise. I was going to say that, you know, I'm fine with it. I don't care. Everybody's got their boss with quirks. Some people have tempers. As long as the staff still can speak bluntly to the president and not fear that if I say something, he'll chop my head off. This is what seems like going on, though. And he probably does it for no reason when he's confused, which seems like is happening quite often nowadays. He most likely has a bunch of yes men working in the White House that are scared to go against him. So if he wants something, it's probably going through with no questions asked. Or they just do what they want behind his back. That's definitely a possibility. And it seems like that actually happens quite often. Either way, though, definitely not good. We all know he has this temper. I mean, I I've heard no. of a million different dinners here in the city included where he's he's have made outbursts like that all the time. Mm. So to me, it also shows in public when he has those sort of bellicose remarks and not on my watch and this is going to happen about Putin and the like, but he clearly folds after. To me, it's been a, a hallmark of his personality for many decades that while he brings himself out to be the sort of affable and the union guy and average Joe, he's sort of a jerk. And this yeah. type of, of bellowing out the outburst, the swearing, none of it is likable whatsoever. So again, this puts him back in the bottom of the barrel with Kamala for likability. Chief among them, in my opinion, again, his continued denial of his grandchild. And that's just it. It's so, you know, when I think about my former boss, President Trump, he really was, the guy in meetings was the guy you see. Like, very much similarity between public and private persona. But with Joe Biden, he's curated this careful image of the affable grandfather and aviators, mm -hmm. but he appears to be nothing of the sort. It's a fraud. I personally always knew that uh, Biden had a quick temper. But, you know, it's definitely getting worse, and he's showing it to the public more and more.
And I'm sure the whole thing with Hunter being investigated isn't helping this at all. He snaps at reporters constantly, and that is actually maybe why the media is starting to turn on him. Personally, I don't really think that the harsh language is a big deal, but like they said in the video, Biden tries to have this picture-perfect image, which is super ironic because it seems like he's actually the exact opposite of that. But you know, that's just my opinion of the story. What is your opinion? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for daily news updates, hit that notification bell, and share this video to help spread the news. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.